Hey, this is Mark, and today I've got uh, an interesting one. I've got this PCI card um, for uh, an x-ray imaging system uh, for a dentist's office. So this connector that's on the back of the card um, has one of its main anchor points has broken and that has caused movement which has snapped a bunch of these pins. Um, now I'm not even sure what these uh, what these connectors are called but luckily the guys who sent it in did all that work for me, found the correct connector, and now I've just got to solder it on. Dogs! Quiet! There's nothing there! <laughs> There's nothing there, dogs! Ah, okay. So this should be pretty quick and easy and straightforward. And, ooh, am I going to get to use my solder sucker? Man, I bought this thing forever ago, and... I never get to use it because everything I work on is way too small. Let's see, is that is that going to be... Eh, it'll probably work for the anchors. All right, let's, let's get started. So I'm going to begin by adding some leaded solder to these joints. Um, I don't know if they're made with lead-free, uh, but I'm going to assume they probably are just like everything that was made after like 1990 or whenever. So just gonna, just gonna flood these joints with a nice bunch of leaded solder. All right, now let's get in here. And suck some solder. Sweet. Love that. All right, so now I'm gonna do it one more time out from under the microscope so that I can get get on there really good. Whoops. Uh, wait back. Oh, change the battery pack. All right, guys, give me a second. I actually bought new batteries for this camera just for such an occasion. Way I always got a charged battery at the ready. There we go. All right. So we got those big holes cleared out nice. Now, now I think I might just give this a little bit of hot air and see if I can just get this old connector to fall right out now that those anchors are done. I'm gonna have to adjust that temperature though. So this is back to the nice big component through hole days. And soldering was so much simpler back then. I didn't do it much, but when I had to, it was a lot easier. All right, gonna have to gonna have to rearrange things a little bit so I can get some pressure on this port, push it out. Thank you. 
Come on. Get out of there. Go. 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 Go on, get. How about this? If I wedge these tweezers under here, they are going to put pressure on this while I heat it up. How about that? Is that going to work? Is it going to be enough? <laughs> I realize that I'm making this much more complicated than it needs to be, but you know, where's the fun in, in doing things the easy way every time, right? But, all right, let's get in here with some wick and just wick these guys off. Uh, where did I put the wick? There it is. Is that enough to get you out of there? Just breaking off these last couple of legs. And now we can pull them straight up. I can already like feel all the comments out there telling me about how wrong everything I'm doing is. Um, so I'll go ahead and just, just head you off now. Like I know, and I don't care. Cause the whole point of this isn't to, to show you the absolute best way to do everything. It's to show you that you can be like me and have no idea what you're doing and still figure it out, get the job done. That's what matters. So now I would like to clear these holes out so that the new port can go in nicely. And that tends to go better if they are filled up to the surface. So I'm going to do that from this side. more flux over here. Okay. 
All right. All of them, but this one are cleared. And I can do it like that. There we go. Done. Now we'll clean off the five gallons of flux that I've used. Stick the new port in. I want to make sure this is good and flush. So I'm going to begin soldering by holding the board kind of like this. That way I can make sure my tweezers are really clamping that, that port flat against the board. And then I'll just solder the two anchors first. And this is where it comes in really handy to be ambidextrous. I'm just as comfortable soldering with my left hand as I am with my right hand. Maybe not just as comfortable, but it's not as awkward. Can't write with both hands, but I feel pretty good about soldering with both of them. All right. Now let's check this back side. Uh, not quite sitting exactly the way I want it. There we go. That's much better. Oh, did our, our hole close back up? So we got a pin that's been pushed up a little bit. So we are going to deal with that. I can find some way that is least awkward to hold this. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, now we're just making a mess of things. <laughs> it's all right. It's going to be okay. Trust me. Oof. I mean, I could leave it alone and it will still make a good connection, but now it's like a matter of principle. 
There, much better. <laughs> so that, you know, round part around that pad didn't go anywhere. Um, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right, everybody looks good, except that guy, but he looks good enough. Yep. That'll work. And another one done. Maybe a little more painful than it needed to be, but no. <laughs> That's the way I roll. Thanks for watching.